peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in another video. Man, I'm so excited to make this video because this type of video is going to save someone's life. A lot of you guys have demons in your life and you have no idea. Now, it is up to you with this video. I'm going to give you guys the information. It is up to you to, you know, remove those demons, take those demons out, use your own discernment, using, you know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, being led by the Holy Spirit. But, you know, I'm just a messenger. So let's get, let's go. If you haven't already, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. The number one sign someone's a demon, this is the number one sign. Y'all know nothing is ever in order, but this is number one. Demons will always attempt, okay? They will always attempt to provoke you to rage, to provoke you to wrath, to provoke you to anger, okay? This is another form of energy harvesting to draining your energy, which I'm gonna talk about in number two, okay? The main goal of a demon is to get you to jump out of character because when you jump out of character, now you're more prone to doing things out of regret. Now, now you're more prone to doing things out of emotion, okay? And through a lot of emotion and you know doing things out of character, you're gonna wake up the next day, you know, why did I do that? Because that demon provoked you, okay? This is a spiritual warfare and demons love to get you to go out of the character. Demons love to get you to operate out of God's will in your life. So now you can be, you know, like them, you know, back, going back and forth. And best believe when you go back and forth with the demon, you're now lowering yourself and that demon is going to beat you with experience, okay? Because demons are all, they're only used to being staying down low, being a demon, you know, being on demon time, being demonic, they're used to that. But you being a child of God, you being a chosen one, I mean, maybe we used to do that in the past, but we overcame that, okay? We had the Holy Spirit to let us all things, and now we're, we're, we don't need to troll and scoff and, you know, always be led to debate. We don't got to do that, okay? So one thing about what a demon does, they love to do this. They love to provoke you, to get you to go out of character, to get you to be mad, angry, okay? And you have to understand your solution to this is to ignore them. Demons hate when you ignore them because when you ignore them, now, you know, they're not gaining your energy, which I'm going to go with number two, which I'm going to explain that more. Demons are energy vampires, okay? They love to drain you. The only way a demon could drain you of your energy, okay, this is the main way, is by you giving them your energy. And how they, how they, how the, a demon gets you to give them your energy? By going back and forth, getting to get you out of character, to get you to be mad, angry, and rage, you know, to get you to be wrathful, okay? To get you to sin, okay? That's the main thing what a demon does. So your best solution when, he, when you're dealing with these demons in spiritual warfare, put on the belt, uh, the belt of truth and the boots of peace, and you know, never go back and forth with a demon. Okay, once you understand, once you have discernment, and for those who do not have discernment, I highly recommend you all ask God for the gift of the Holy Spirit and Him to give you to increase your discernment, to give you the gift of discernment, the gift of the Holy Spirit, so you can now operate and see these demons being work, working through these vessels. Okay, demons are Satan's children. What is the goal of Satan? To steal, kill, and destroy. That is the same thing that demons do too, as well. Okay, they're fulfilling their master's will. Okay, the children of God are fulfilling. The, the God of Israel, you know, his, his will in uh, your life, and then the demons, Satan's children, they're fulfilling Satan's will, okay? Whether they're doing this unknowingly or willingly, okay? So please take heed. Please, you guys got to understand this. Back then, I would always go going back and forth with these demons, and I just feel drained, okay? And that's what demons want. They want you to feel drained. They want you to feel worthless and useless. They want you to operate under those negative emotions. That could also open the door to, you know, wanting to do things that you regret harming yourself, Okay, you know, feeling lowly of yourself. That's what the demons want. Okay, or maybe you react physically and now you're in jail. Maybe you might have done something that might face you 25 years in life or 25 years in jail. Okay, so please take heed to that, man. That's number two. Man, the demons are energy vampires. They love to drain you of your energy and how? By provoking you to anger. Okay, number three. Also, the solution to that, just ignore them. Number three, when someone is possessed by the. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, when, before I go to number three. Okay, and when you ignore them, one thing about when I notice about these demons, when you ignore them, they're now going to try to spread lies and rumors to get, because they see that you're not reacting to the hate, you're not reacting to the hate. Now they got to start spreading lies, okay? Just ignore it all, okay? Understand that if the lies do get promoted, God will make sure that he, he, the, the truth will always be exalted in due time, okay? So, and then the hate doesn't work, that they start telling lies. Just ignore it. <laughs> Tell you guys, it takes strength. It takes spiritual strength to ignore these demons, okay? So number three is when someone is possessed by, I put demons with the S, whether one demonic spirit or, or many, okay, or seven or more than that, okay? When someone is possessed by demons, they will try to ruin your relationship with God and Jesus, okay? Ooh, when someone is possessed by demons, they will try, okay? They can only try, all right? 
to ruin your relationship with the Most High and with the Son of God, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. That's a whole, the main goal of a demon, okay? An agent, an agent of the devil is to destroy, to ruin, to separate you from the Most High, to separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. That's the main goal too as well, okay? And when you fall victim to that, well, you know, now you're going to find yourself to more, uh, more into your sin. You're more separated to God. You know, now you're more separated, you know, more closer to your flesh, which, which is sin, which is death, the spiritual death. That is the main goal of a demon taking you out, taking you out spirit, a spiritual death. And then, you know, once you give into your sin, you don't want to repent. Like you don't pick up your strength. You're not seeking after a God, his righteousness. You know, you're not having that relationship with Jesus. Okay. Now it's going to manifest a physical death. Okay, that's, that's, I'm telling you, there's a lot of people, guys, in the grave because of this, okay? They've ruined someone's relationship with God. They, they've ruined someone's relationship with Jesus, you know, and they were taken out. Okay, this is why it's important, guys, when you have a relationship with the Son of God. No one could go, no one could go to God but first through Christ. You want to have that strong foundation so when the storm and tribulations come, okay, you, you're built upon a rock and out of sand. So you're going to stand firm. You're going to be strong no matter what happens, okay? Always have a strong relationship with, uh, with Christ. We don't want to be all religious. We want to have a real personal relationship, okay? Not just going to church on Sundays. You only know God per a spiritually personal relationship. Get to know him. Seek him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, okay? So please keep that in mind. When someone's possessed by demons, okay, not to say they're because someone can be used by demons, demonic spirits, all right, they will try to ruin your relationship with God. I'm telling you, this happens so many times. Some of you guys can relate to this too, you know, and let me know in the comments if you guys can relate to that. I could definitely relate to this a lot, all right. Number four is demons are always jealous and envious of your success, not only just of your success, okay, let's say if you're not successful yet, you're making progress, and they're going to try to stop down progress, right? They're never happy. Demons are never happy of your success. They're always jealous and envious, okay? And not only that, all right, they're going to try to, when, when you're making progress to success, when you're, you're slowly climbing, let's say if you were stuck in a rut, okay, you were down in the bottom, um, you know, whatever may happen in your life, like let's say if you fell down short, we all do, right? But you start getting back up, you're making progress, you're getting closer to the most high, you're, you're taking steps, you're taking baby steps, okay? You're, you're taking, you know, you know, there's one sin that, we, that, that was keeping you in bondage, you broke that chain. There was another chain that was keeping you in bondage, you broke that, and you're just slowly breaking free from the chains, and you're getting right with the most high, you're separated from the world, you no longer have the love in the world in you, okay? You're just doing the right thing, you're keeping God's commandments, you're doing what God wants you to do, uh, the will of God in your life, okay? And, you know, the demons don't like when you make progress, not even just if you're successful, okay? Let alone if you're successful, oh, man, they're going to try to take you out. Slander campaigns, hate campaigns, the jealous and envy is going to manifest. And when you have the Holy Spirit, you'll see. You'll see when someone's showing you fake love, when someone doesn't really have their best interests at heart, you'll see it all. Okay, the Holy Spirit reveals all the truth. They're never happy for you, okay? So when someone's never happy for you, even when you were at your worst your worst state of your life ever, and you're just making progress, you're doing the best you can, okay? Now, no, of course, no one's perfect. No one's going to be without sin. But we're just striving for righteousness' sake, okay? We're trying to please the Father in spirit and truth. We're doing the best we can. And these people just hate, hate, hate. You know, jealous, envious, never happy for you, okay? That is a demonic spirit, okay? So always keep that in mind. The demons are always jealous and envious of your success, not only of your success, but also your progress. They always try to stop progress, all right? Number five, oh, also another thing what a demon would do, they'll bring up your past. That's another way of the, that's another way of the shame, okay? The things that you did a month ago, but you're no longer doing, or a year ago, two years ago, five, 10 years ago. Some people bring up stuff that you did 10 years ago, okay? It just, they're, they're trying to bring up your past. Rebuke that, okay? Rebuke that, remember, you're now recreated new. All things become old and all things become new in Christ Jesus. So keep that in mind. Don't let no demon bring up your past things that you don't even, don't even do no more. You've been delivered from that sin or whatever it was. You've been delivered from it. You overcame it. And now they're trying to break it up. That's a demonic spirit, man. That's what the devil likes to do. Number five is God will you. Ooh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, man. God will use someone to warn you about them, okay? God will use someone to warn you about them. Now, someone won't, won't say, oh, that, that's a, oh, be careful, that's a demon or that's a devil, you know, or maybe, maybe they're spiritually in tune to say that. I remember back when I was younger, my parents, especially my dad, even my mom, they would warn me about certain people, okay? And at the time, you know, us being children, you know, we had the best, we don't, we, we don't see our friends, you know, or so-called friends like that. They would always warn me about certain people, you know, son, you know, Mark, watch, watch out for those people, you know, I don't want that person at my house. And I'd be like, you know, you're just hating or something. I, I, you know, I'd be a fool, you know, you're just hating or you blah, blah, blah. And time showed, remember, like I said earlier, the truth, the time always reveals who's who. Always, always, okay? You can only fake for so long. 
And I put usually parents. Now it's not only parents that God will use. God will use anybody, okay? But for my for my testimony, my experiences, especially when I was younger, it was my parents, my mom and my dad. You know, my dad passed away, rest in peace to him, but he would always tell me about certain people, but I would never believe him. But as I got older, I'm like, wow, my dad was right. Or even my mom, wow, my mom was right. Okay, honor your parents. Even though you guys might have the best relationship with them, so they're right, you know, I, I gotta admit. And those people who they were warning me about, Demonic people, people who stole from me, people who tried to break into my house, man. This is real, bro. And my, and my parents, they warned me, bro, but I didn't, I didn't take heed. And because of that, you know, so yes, God will always use someone to warn you about some watch out for that person. Don't bring that person around my house, okay? Or maybe, you know, it's like I said, it's not only just uh, a parent. It could be anybody. So always keep in mind, man, God will, will use someone to warn you. Take heed, whether it's your family members or friend. Uh, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, any, any of that. Take heed, guys. God will always use someone to warn you. If you don't want to listen, you're going to have to deal with the consequences. Them stealing from you, them hurting you, them betraying you, etc., etc. Number six is when a demon destroys you. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> when a demon destroys you, okay, they will disappear, okay? They will completely disappear from the face of the planet. They will never hit you up again. You'll never see them again. They'll just completely vanish, right? And, and they will find the next victim to destroy. That's what a demon does. Once a demon destroys, uh, destroys someone, they're jumping onto the next. They have no, the, the, the agenda, their goal, whatever mission they had from Satan to destroy you, it passed. Whether it passed or it failed. And now, now they're on to the next victim. They're, they, don't need nothing, they don't need nothing to do with you no more because they already destroyed you. They already destroyed your spirit, destroyed your soul, okay? Destroyed your heart, led you to a heartbreak. That's what a demon does. And once a demon does that, they're on to the next victim. They have nothing to do with you no more, completely dis disappearing from life. And one, one more thing about when someone who's sent by the devil, okay, they come to you. They hit you up. They're always messaging you. They're always trying to see you. They always don't wonder how, you know, where you're at and trying to hang out with you. But when that mission fail, uh, when that mission either completes, when they pass the test, when they destroy you, they're gone. They ain't hitting you up no more. <laughs> This is spiritual warfare, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. This is a spiritual warfare. Demons, their goal is to destroy you children of God. Now, the demons are not trying to destroy other demons or uh, other children of Satan. No, they're trying to destroy you chosen ones, you God-fearing people, okay? So, and also, guys, if you guys are going to edify from this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number seven is a demon will always come. Ooh, a demon will always come with a hidden, hidden agenda, okay? A secret motive. And I highlighted it right here agents okay an agent what is an agent someone who's working for the devil whether it's willingly because not everyone knows they're working for the devil some people are just in deep and bondage to satan's kingdom and they have no idea now some people do this willingly because they know that when they work for the devil the devil could bless them too yeah the devil could bless his children too when they're doing his satan's will just like what god blesses uh his children or who are doing his will you know seeking righteousness the devil you know blesses his children too the, who work for him too oh yeah okay now of course the blessing the devil's blessings are going to eventually lead you to hell if you don't repent and, and turn away from your wicked ways but yeah the devil could bless them too okay so a demon will always come with a, with a hidden agenda a secret motive okay and this they're very sneaky just like a snake so the snake is very very sneaky that's how satan's children are that's how these demons are okay now what's the hidden agenda what's the motive the main thing is to destroy you but that's for you to find out Okay, and for those who wonder, no, Mark, how do I how do I detect a demon? Gotta have the Holy Spirit. You gotta have a personal relationship with God, the, the Father, and the Son of God, Jesus Christ. You have to be obedient. You have to hearken to the voice of the Lord because God will warn you. I have many videos on this. God could give you dreams. God can use people to warn you about someone, or you will just see the signs. God has always given us a sign. The thing is, we're not taking heed to the signs. Why? Sometimes it's because we're not sober minded. Why sometimes? Because we're disobedient. We see the signs, but we choose to live in the flesh. We choose to, you know, don't listen, don't listen to the spirit. Let's just follow my own ways. And following your own ways, your own path, instead of God's path that he has for you, that straight and narrow path, is going to lead you down to a dark hole. 